Well, we're happy to have you back in Toronto. We, you know, we all love you here, and you did such a wonderful job in this movie. And I want to know, you know, being a good Toronto girl, what was high school like for you? I had a great high school experience. Um, I went to a performing arts high school, so I like my character in the movie. I was kind of my mom was an artist, first of all, so she wanted me to take the art electives, and then I love drama and dance and theater, and so that's what I was doing. And then um, my dad is a is like a book smart, kind of geeky type. So he was all about going to math and English and science. And so I had to kind of do a little bit of everything. And I always felt like I was torn in all these different directions. Mm -hmm. um, but it helped me discover what I loved. And that was the best school to do it. Wexford yeah. Collegiate yeah. Is, is an incredible school. And so um, I had a great experience. I'm Mind sure. you, at the end I was working. So I the last year I was kind of in and out intermittently yeah. but um but it all worked out well for you it was all great it really and i did. have nothing but the best memories yeah why do you think perks of a wallflower just struck a chord with so many readers i think i think it's you know what it's it's a very timeless story and a timeless film because despite the fact that it was in a way period you know whether those issues were 20 years ago 10 years ago or now they're all kind of the same yeah. and and our problems transcend time. We all kind of go through the same things. And um, and there's something that we relate to and that we remember from our own lives in each one of these characters. So I think that's why. Yeah. And it's not a sugar-coated Hollywood version. It's, it feels like a real film and real people. It, and Exactly. So yeah, I it is think very that's real. why. Uh, bonding with this cast must have been incredible. Like, you're, all of you are so fantastic. And I understand that you all stayed in a hotel together. And it must have been a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, it was cool. None of us were over 25, so we couldn't rent a car. <laughs> so we were all kind of stuck in the same, in, like, the five-block radius. And all they had was, like, Applebee's and, and a couple of local <laughs> chain restaurants and the movie theater across the street. So kind of felt like you were back in high school where you didn't have a car, you didn't have all these other things to do. And... It was it was it was great. Uh, and working with Logan, and you guys go way back because you were shooting the pilot of uh, Vampire Diaries, and he was shooting Percy Jackson Percy in Vancouver. Jackson. So you guys have that connection. Yeah, actually, Logan and I met initially because I uh, I almost got Percy Jackson. I tested for um, the the girl the main girl in that. So we met then, and then we saw each other in Vancouver. And like we constantly. Um, our paths cross all the time, and then we had the chance to finally work together. And I, I couldn't imagine anyone else in this role. He's so perfect and, and such a talented young actor. I, I can't wait to see him kind of explode more, even more so than he is now. And he, this film is gonna is gonna really do great things for him. Yeah, certainly. Well, wait to see him in the writers as well, which is also at the film festival. He's amazing in that. Yeah, too. great script. I haven't read. Fantastic. Didn't. That's really, he did a great job. Okay, so I want to ask you, um, what was, I know you said that, you know, you went to performing arts school and you wanted, you knew you always wanted to be an actor, but was there a role or an actor or a movie that struck you and went, this is what I want to do for my living? Um, I mean, at different periods, I've been inspired by different people, for sure. Rachel McAdams has always been a big, um, someone I've looked up to, and, and when I was in high school, she was just kind of exploding, and she, the notebook had come out, and, and the various films after that. She's just such a timeless, she has a timeless look, a timeless personality and, and energy, and and she's so talented and lights up the screen, and and she's Canadian, and so I always um, I always kind of wanted to follow in her footsteps. Yeah, well, you certainly are. You're doing a great job. You're doing us proud. Thank Vampire you. Diaries. We can't wait to see what's going to happen. <laughs> and uh, best of luck with this. You're fantastic in this. And I wanted to give you this. It's called a booby bracelet for breast cancer research. Oh, wow. One. It's kind of cool. Little Coco jewelry. And there you go. So there That's you go. awesome. Okay. Thank you so thank, much. Thank you. Nice to talk to you. Thanks you so too. much.